Hey guys, it's Matt for Your Driver Mike. In today's video, we give you a day in the life of Uber Eats. In this video, I'm gonna break down which rides you should accept and which rides you should avoid when you're an Uber Eats driver. We're gonna go over strategies, tips, to make sure that you're making the most money per hour, which of course is the goal. So we talk a lot on this channel about picking rides in a dense area. So number one is make sure you start your Uber Eats day in a very dense area. And what that means is you wanna be around an area that has the most restaurants or in your opinion, a lot of orders. So for me, that means I could be around colleges, I could be around shopping centers, somewhere where I know I'm gonna get frequent orders. Hotels are a very good clue that high orders are in that spot because think about it, a lot of people are going to that destination. So you're gonna have a lot of restaurants as amenities around that hotel. So there are some quick tips on where to start. And number two, we talk about how much money is worth your time. Well, only you know that answer, but it comes down to how much are you making for that trip and how far and how long is that trip going to be? So a good example is if you're only driving a few miles, but the fare will give you $10, let's say, plus tip, then that's a short ride for a high profit. You want to avoid trips that are long miles, takes a lot of time for a low payout. So again, that's up to you. But on this channel, I know Mike talks a lot about making sure that fare is at least seven to eight dollars. And remember, on Uber Eats, the tip is not yet included. So that's the minimum you're going to get. And most people give a very good tip. So let's just jump right into a few examples and I'm gonna explain why I accepted these delivery requests. So I just got this order for Starbucks very close to me and I accepted this order because it was eight plus dollars for under two miles of driving. And remember, this does not include tip. So this should be a very good amount for me for only a few minutes driving. You could see the map was red, so I can be very choosy with which deliveries I decide to accept. So I knew I was going to get something close by and I made sure to get those high revenue delivery requests that are close by, so I went ahead and accepted. So again, another short high revenue ride that's gonna give you those big returns. But something we did not talk about is keep in mind where you're gonna finish the ride because I just finished that order and I was in a more residential area. So we talk about being in the more dense areas near restaurants, near hotels, because that's where the deliveries are gonna be. That's where the orders are gonna be. However, if there is a ride where it's a short distance and you're just outside of that high dense area, well, I'm going to take it. Actually, I just got another order right down the street. And again, the whole focus is to be in those dense areas so you can pinball, if you will, between uh, frequent orders. Another big tip, keep in mind the surge pricing and the promotions. So during this particular week that we made this video, there is a promotion with Uber Eats. If you deliver 25 rides within a week, you get a guaranteed $260. So again, that's in my market of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but keep in mind those promotions. So there you go, guys, some of the strategies and a day in the life of an Uber Eats driver. And those are some of the decisions, just some that we talk about on this channel to maximize your success and get you the most bang for your buck when you're out there on the road. So if you found value on this video, please consider hitting subscribe and that like button and stick around for another video over here and a video recommended for you right here.